Hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome back to another video of this on video of Maple Leaf Aviation. In this video of Maple Leaf Aviation, we'll be looking into the much forgotten mystery of Air Canada's once low cost, no frills, leisure airline within an airline. You may be thinking about Air Canada Rouge, what, which is exact concept that is operating in the skies today. However, we are actually going to be looking into today's subject matter on the long gone Air Canada Tango. So what happened to the airline? Why did it suddenly disappear after such processing to serve several sunny destinations that Air Canada Rouge would cover today? First of all guys, let's look into the history of this less known airline. The story started on October 10, 2001 when Air Canada wanted to come up with a concept called Airline Within an Airline, where they wanted to target mainly sun destinations in Florida, the Caribbean, as well as some parts of Mexico. Ten days later, the airline commenced operations where they started digging into uh, 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 they started uh, digging into uh, uh, selling uh, uh, some of their tickets for their customers looking into the low cost market. The airline had uh, offered eighty uh, percent awful fair economy of Air Canada. One innovation that may surprise you on Air Canada Tango was the requirement for the electronic tickets, which saved ticket costs on passengers. But shortly, looking into the airline's fleet, Air Canada Tango had operated two types of aircraft, the Boeing 737-200 and Airbus A320-200. But shortly after, the airline has suddenly ceased operations, ending all their scheduled flights in 2004. So what happened? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. But looking into some good source of details, some sources say it was believed that the airline wasn't really necessary for its mainline carrier since it was indeed founded just nearly a month after the tragic September 11 attacks and the downfall of the air travel as a result. The project was initially successful, however Air Canada soon changed the way their flights operated. Such actions were done so that way they reflected on the method of the, for the purchase. They soon back merged back Air Canada Tango after it was a dead end for the airline. Despite their shutdown, the website was actually still ac active, but still redirected to Air Canada's main website until lately as the third quarter of 2018 when it was finally taken down. Well, an airline within an airline project like this had failed and it can fail for others. However, if we look back into today in 2021, Air Canada has launched a similar concept that most of us should be familiar with. And that is, of course, Air Canada Rouge. Another air leisure airline with an airline that has covered not just Air Canada Tango's sun destinations, but other destinations in a few parts of Asia, as well as several countries in Europe, like Ireland, Austria, Spain, France, Italy, as well as some parts of Scotland. Have you ever flew with this long, low-cost uh, airline of Air Canada? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching another video of mine, and before I set you guys off, don't forget to comment below what you think, like this video instantly by hitting that big thumbs up, consider subscribing if you're new to these parts, and last but not least, safe travels for everyone. Bye.